Gather around, my dears, do you see this scar on my wrist? It has a story to tell. Beneath the soft glow of the fireplace, an elderly woman's voice is filled with warmth and wisdom as she gently traces the faint line on her wrist. This isn't just any scar, it's a bookmark from her past, a tale of resilience etched into her skin. Many moons ago there was a young girl named Lily, she begins. Oh, Lily was quite the adventurer, always curious, always eager to explore the world around her. Her voice dances with nostalgia as she paints a vivid picture of Lily, a girl with sparkling eyes and a spirit as wild and free as the wind. Lily's world was one of endless possibilities where every tree held a secret, every path was an invitation. And so, one day, Lily and her friends found a hidden waterfall in the forest. The elderly woman's voice drops to a whisper, hinting at the adventure that awaits. Excited by the sight, Lily decided to climb the waterfall with her friends. Their hearts pounded in their chests, a symphony of adventure echoing in the forest. The waterfall stood majestic and untamed, a challenge that beckoned them. The rocks beneath their feet were wet and slippery, the mist from the waterfall painting their faces with glistening dew. With each step, Lily felt a surge of exhilaration. The world around her was a canvas of green and blue, the air filled with the symphony of nature. Her friends followed her lead, their laughter and shouts echoing through the trees. The waterfall was within their reach, a beacon of triumph. But in the blink of an eye, the melody of their laughter turned into a gasp of shock. Lily's foot slipped on a mossy rock. Time seemed to slow as she tumbled, her wrist striking a sharp rock on her way down. Pain exploded up her arm, a sharp contrast to the cold water that enveloped her a moment later. Her friends rushed to her side, their faces pale with worry. Lily cradled her injured wrist, her eyes wide with shock and pain. The forest that had been filled with their laughter was now a silent witness to their ordeal. The waterfall that had been a symbol of adventure was now a stark reminder of the fall. As Lily was helped to her feet, she glanced at her wrist. Blood welled up from a deep cut, staining the rock beneath her. It was a harsh reality, a stark contrast to the excitement they had felt just moments ago. But even in that moment of pain, Lily felt a strange sense of calm. She had fallen, yes, but she was standing again. She had been hurt, but she was not broken. And with that fall, a scar was born. A mark that would always remind her of the day she fell, but more importantly, the day she got back up. A scar that would tell a story of resilience, of courage, and of the power of healing. The fall was severe and Lily had to be taken to the hospital. The world around her became a whirl of flashing lights and hurried voices. But amidst the chaos, one thing remained clear. Lily's spirit was unbroken. In the sterile white hospital room, her parents sat by her side, their faces etched with worry. The room smelled of antiseptic and echoed with the distant sounds of medical machinery. Yet in the center of it all lay Lily, her wrist wrapped in bandages but her determination untouched. The doctor entered the room with a calm demeanor, his years of experience evident in his steady gaze. He looked at Lily, then turned to her parents with a reassuring smile. She's going to be fine, he said, his voice steady and comforting. It's a deep cut, but she's strong, she'll heal. His words, though simple, carried a profound promise, a promise of healing, of recovery, and of resilience. But healing is more than just the physical mending of wounds. It's a journey that tests the mettle of the human spirit. It's a process that calls for patience, for strength, and above all, for hope. And so, Lily began her journey of healing. She faced each day with a brave heart, her spirit unyielding in the face of adversity. She embraced the pain, the discomfort, the uncertainty, not as obstacles, but as stepping stones on her path to recovery. Each day she pushed herself a little further, her determination unwavering, her courage undiminished. Despite the challenges, despite the struggle, Lily never lost sight of who she was. A young girl with a zest for life, with dreams to chase, and with a world to explore. Her scar was not a reminder of her fall, but a testament to her strength, her courage, her resilience. And so Lily began her journey of healing. It was a journey marked by pain and struggle, but also by hope and resilience. It was a journey that taught her the true meaning of strength, the true value of courage, and the true power of healing. But Lily was not one to give up so easily. Those words encapsulate the spirit of this young girl who, despite the adversity she faced, was determined to rise above. Her wrist, scarred from an unfortunate fall, could have been a barrier, a limitation. But not for Lily. 
Just like how a tree, when faced with a storm, bends but doesn't break, Lily too, was resilient. She was not going to let a scar define her. Instead, she chose to redefine the scar, to turn it into a mark of her strength and determination. She decided to pick up a guitar, a challenging instrument that requires both precision and dexterity. A daunting task for anyone, but particularly so for Lily given her scarred wrist. But she was not deterred. She was determined to make music, to let the strings of the guitar resonate with her spirit. Every day she would sit for hours practicing, her fingers dancing on the strings, her scarred wrist a testament to her will. It was painful, and there were moments of doubt, of frustration. But each time she faltered, she remembered her fall, her recovery, and the strength she found within herself. And that gave her the courage to persist. And so, she persevered. She pushed through the pain, the discomfort, the struggle. She embraced the challenge, for she knew that it was only through adversity that one truly grows. Her scar, rather than being a symbol of her fall, became a symbol of her resilience, her courage, and her indomitable spirit. She practiced day in and day out, her determination unwavering. The guitar became an extension of herself, her music a reflection of her journey. Each note was a testament to her perseverance, each chord a tribute to her resilience. And with each passing day, her wrist grew stronger, not just physically, but metaphorically too. Her scar, once a reminder of a fall, had now become a testament to her strength, her resilience, and most importantly, the power of perseverance. Years later, Lily, now a confident young woman, stood on a brightly lit stage. The spotlight shone on her, casting a warm glow that reflected off her guitar. That very instrument was once a challenge, a hurdle she thought she could never overcome. But as her fingers danced over the strings, the audience was captivated by her skill and the passion that poured from her soul. Her wrist, marked by a scar, moved with grace and agility. It was no longer just a scar, it was a testament to her journey, her struggle, and her victory. It was a reminder of a fall, a painful accident, and a moment of fear. But it was also a symbol of her strength, her determination, and her resilience. You see, Lily didn't just recover from her fall, she rose above it. She didn't let her injury stop her from pursuing her passion. Instead, she embraced it, she worked with it, and she transformed it into something beautiful. Her scar became her mark of resilience, a badge of honor that she wore with pride. It was a part of her story, a chapter that spoke of courage and determination. And every time she played her guitar, every time her fingers glided over the strings, she was reminded of her journey and the strength she discovered within herself. And so, as she stood on that brightly lit stage, her music resonating with the audience, her scar was not a symbol of pain or weakness. It was a testament to her resilience, a sign of her strength and a beacon of hope for others. It was a mark that said, I fell but I got back up, I was hurt but I healed, I was scared but I overcame. And that's how the scar became a mark of resilience. It's a reminder that no matter how deep the wound, with time, courage, and determination, we can overcome anything. We can turn our scars into symbols of strength and our pain into power because resilience, my dear friends, is not just about surviving, it's about thriving. It's about rising above challenges and transforming them into opportunities for growth and learning. That scar, my dears, is more than just a mark, it's a symbol. As the elderly woman's voice softened, the room filled with an air of anticipation. A symbol of what, you ask? Well, it's a symbol of strength, of resilience, and of the power of healing. She paused for a moment, letting her words sink in. When I was young, I saw it as a reminder of a painful fall, a moment of weakness. But as I grew older, I began to see it differently. She traced the scar with her fingers, a gentle smile playing on her lips. This scar taught me that we all stumble, we all fall, but that's not the end of the story. The real story begins when we pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and carry on with even more determination. And that's how a scar taught me that with time and courage we can overcome anything.